I'm Katie Clapp. I'm just going to introduce Fraxa webinar on clinical trials for Fragile X. After the speakers, we'll have some time for questions. You'll also be able to review the materials at the Fraxa blog, which is at fraxa.org slash blog. We really hope this will be a useful chance to learn more about the trials that are going on now, what the drugs do, how you might get involved. First, we start with Dr. Becky Zorovich, whose son Anders, here in the picture, has finished the trial of Arbaclofen by Seaside Therapeutics. Hello, everyone. My son Anders is 10 years old and has completed the double-blind part of the Arbaclofen trial, and we are now several months into the open-label extension phase. We've been participating at the UMass Clinic in Worcester, Mass., about November. And overall, I think this has been a very positive experience for our family. The staff has been um, awesome. They've really gone out of their way to make every aspect of this easy for us. Um, I'd never been to the UMass clinic before, so um, before starting, I think I was a little bit nervous about if their staff was familiar with Fragile X and how they'd react to some of my son's pretty tough behaviors. But I had no need to worry. Everyone there was very relaxed, very comfortable dealing with Fragile X. I think the blood draw team was the best we've ever had. They always have lots of help, extra help on hand and were always great in dealing with my son. So I think that just showed me that the trial sites in general have kicked clinics that have had a lot of experience with kids with special needs, which was very reassuring. I can't say much about the effect of the medication during the trial. It's possible we were on the placebo or the low dose. But in the extension phase, I think we have seen some really nice changes in my son's behavior with the knowing that we're actually on the Arbaclofen. Again, it's just anecdotal evidence, but I think some of them were pretty powerful. We took our son to the dentist last month, and normally I have to lie down and hold him um, while he's screaming as the dentist tries to clean his teeth. But this time he sat in the chair by himself, opened his mouth for the dentist, the dentist polished his teeth, and he even got to use the scraping tool for several minutes. Um, on my son's teeth, and there were no tears, no screaming, nothing. That was pretty incredible, um, and it stark change to six months prior. Um, in the past couple months, my son's also been to two birthday parties, and he hadn't been to a birthday party for at least two years. Um, his language is a little bit more on target and perhaps a little bit more complex. There's definitely still some rough, rough patches in his behavior. It didn't make all of Fragile X disappear. But overall, there's been a nice improvement that we haven't seen with any other medication that we've tried before, such as Prozac or stimulants or even minocycline. And I'd also say I think another really positive outcome was just the effect on my husband and me. I think it felt really good to be doing a clinical trial, just to be trying it and hoping that something is working. Some of it might have just been the support from the trial site, site staff, but it really felt good just giving him a medication every day, even if it was sugar pill. And... uh knowing that overall this was helping the whole Fragile X field learn more about these medications. So um, I wish you all luck with your decisions, but I think overall it was an extremely positive experience for our family. Thanks, Becky. And our next speaker up is Jim Cantori, who you probably know from the Weather Channel. Jim also has two children with Fragile X, and Jim Jim's son has been participating in the Novartis trials. Want to tell us a little bit about how that's been going? Yeah, absolutely. One of the nice things about being in Atlanta is there is a Fragile X clinic right at Emory. That's huge. That has been uh, really just huge for, for Cameron and I, uh, whether we're, um, you know, doing it together or, you know, I'm out of town, whatever. She uh, has been very, very good at getting that into that clinic. And uh, we're working with Dr. Geneva Zutzak, who after, you know, several months of the detox, you know, getting bent off of all the other stuff he was on, said, let's do this trial. And we were, we were all for it. We waited out. And, you know, having a fragile X child, I'm sure you guys know, it's like, wow, what can we do now? I mean, you feel helpless sometimes. And it's nice to know that there's, there's been some good news on this trial, and we felt it was positive enough, uh, and overweighing the potential side effects, which I hadn't seen any. Uh, so to go ahead and do it. So Ben's been on this trial for about a month and a half, two months now. He's got another three months to go. And what's nice is you actually have the chance to stay on it for two years afterward 
if all is successful to you. And, and like Becky, we have absolutely seen improvements. I mean, I don't know how you can measure them and say, okay, yes, we went from A to B, but I can just tell you that what we see in Ben is he's a man, a young man who's trying to learn, he's trying to engage in society. He's, he's, you know, if I got 10 seconds on the phone with Ben when I was out of town, it was awesome. Because that's all I ever expected. Now I'm getting minute 30 and two minute conversations with this little guy. <laughs> and they're logical and they're talking about things that we've talked about in previous conversations. So, you know, there's, there's some definite educational structure going on in his brain, and I don't, again, know why it's changing like that, but it's definitely changing. This is not going to be a miracle, um, but I think for anybody with a fragile child and who just wants to see them be a part of of life as best as they can and really only wants that for their their children, uh, you're going to be pretty happy with this child. I, I haven't heard from anyone yet who hasn't seen something, some type of a positive impact from, from this trial. And of course, there may be those people out there. I, I just don't know. I'm just saying I haven't haven't seen uh, anything negative here. So like Becky, uh, it, it's great to be a part of something that, that's advancing Craswell and certainly advancing uh, our son. Eventually, potentially even my daughter, Christina, who's two years older than then, will eventually be able to, uh, to jump on board here. So I, I wish you all the best of luck. Just remember, it's not a miracle. Take small steps. Small steps are the best. Back to you. Thanks so much, Jim. We really appreciate it. If anybody does have a question, the other possibility is to ask Jim questions on the blog, the Fraxa blog, and we'll make sure that he gets answers to you. Yeah, and even even on Twitter, guys, you can get me on Twitter at Jim Tentori. Pretty active in that. So just don't tweet me when it's really busy weather-wise. <laughs> Because more than likely, I, I won't be able to get to it right away and make it very. So just uh, just keep on me and I'll, I'll eventually get to it. So I do read all the mentions on Twitter. All right. Well, thanks, Jim.